Now, members of the APC in Bayasu State have elected new leaders to pilot the affairs of the party for the next four years. With this development, leaders of the APC say the party is now in a better position to win the 2023 general elections in the state. Our correspondent, Jesse Ese, now reports. After a process which was adjudged to be free and fair by members of the APC, Dr. Dennis Otiotio and Ibipade Fekowemo emerged chairman and secretary respectively. The chairman believes that he and other members of the 36-member executive will lead the party to victory in the state. We all know the problem of Bayasa State. We don't even have water, we don't have light. We don't have any infrastructure. And this is an opportunity for APC to present credible candidates in the next election from the House of Assembly, House of Reps, Senate, and the, ultimately the governorship. We are going to win for APC because my leadership, my executive will ensure that we are going to present candidates that are sellable, candidates that will bring development to the people of Bayasa State. Some seven members of the National Assembly from Bayasa State are in high spirits following a hitch-free Congress. They say the love and oneness displayed by the delegates and contestants are indications that the party will win the next governorship election in Bayasa State. We are just appealing to our brothers and sisters in the state who are on the other side to join APC because you need to be connected to the center at any given point in time. We are talking about democracy. Democracy is a business for the people. And so when you look at the center, you know that Nigeria is moving towards one direction. Biasas must also key into that direction. And Biasas are looking for an alternative in this state. And I believe APC can provide that alternative that they are looking for. Of course, I believe this uh, Congress will unite the party to make the party stronger to face the PDP in the next election in the state. See, their disposition has been very peaceful. It shows only one thing. It shows progress. APC is a progressive party. And of course, we'll continue to maintain that line in all our activities. We believe that Bayesans love APC and we'll come back strong in 2023 to see how best we take back the state. Meanwhile, a founding member of the party in the state, Sunday Franco Puto, has described the Congress as a futile exercise. Mr. Franco Puto is a chairmanship aspirant of the faction of the APC loyal to Senator Heineken Lobobri, and he believes the exercise is a contempt of court. He's saying now that he will procure judgment from the appeal court. That I don't believe the appeal court will give to him. But even if they do, at the Supreme Court, we have several authorities to prove him and whatever he believes in, that no, this is the right way you would have followed. So for us, as a people, we believe that the law will take its course at its own time. This is an exercise of futility. Whatever they are doing here will not stand under the law because there is a subsisting order. Bayesa should have been exempted from all Congresses until these legal issues are thrust out. Despite high expectations on the 2023 general elections, it remains a fact that how well the party performs is dependent on how quickly they are able to harmonize and resolve the lingering dispute. Jesse Ese, Plus TV News, Yenegua. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.